Pluto is a far-off and secretive, smaller planet that was once an individual from our nearby planetary system. However, recent alarming declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They propose that this frosty world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. But how could this work out, and what might be the outcomes of such an enormous event? Are we seeing an intriguing galactic peculiarity? Or is there something else to this looming inestimable crash? Join us as we investigate the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a former planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet, partly because of its unique orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the galactic community. According to recent predictions by leading researchers, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential hazardous crash between these two planets, which could pose a gigantic threat to Earth. How is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. But the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its highly elliptical shape, straying considerably from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more unique is its inclination, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This prompts the natural question, why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its unique path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit does, in fact, cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is evidence of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms a soul libration and scope libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is azimuthal libration. With regard to Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in keeping their orbits from intersecting. Scope libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another critical aspect in this situation is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers, V, Zell, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It involves the way three space objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the sun pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. For Pluto's case, the VZK oscillation helps us understand why its orbit near the sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's path seeming irregular, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly over long periods. The VZK oscillation shows that, even though things in space seem chaotic and unpredictable, some patterns and rules keep everything in order. All of these factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring that it doesn't crash into Neptune or stray off course. This three-body problem is key to understanding how these orbits change because of the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto and our solar system, as well as distant worlds and their stars. 
mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is actually turbulent, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over thousands of years. However, these extraordinary properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping the turmoil in check. Recent computer simulations have helped us understand how the large planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, influence Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a unique connection with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit consistent. However, Neptune isn't the only one at work. Jupiter's gravity also plays a large role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit. Additionally, Saturn helps as well. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for a long time, even billions of years. So it's as if Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are all working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are essential for maintaining order and stability in space. Without these mechanisms, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable paths, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. The case of Pluto demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of balance through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also shows the importance of continuous observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly illustrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using computer simulations has been immensely helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex math to model how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune pull on each other. By tweaking small details in the simulations, astronomers can see how even small changes can make a big difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations showed something interesting about Pluto's orbit. Even though it has mechanisms like azimuthal and scope libration to keep it stable, its orbit can still be unpredictable and erratic. If you start with just a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after a number of years. But even with this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over super long periods, like billions of years. This means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a kind of order to it, even though it seems chaotic at first. Predicting celestial events, especially when they involve turbulent orbits like Pluto's, is a significant challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term forecasts are often filled with uncertainties. While mathematical models provide powerful tools to understand and predict the future paths of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limits of our predictive abilities. These models depend heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small error or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes, making exact predictions a daunting task. Moreover, the chaotic nature of planetary orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made huge strides in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can have sweeping effects on the stability and direction of other bodies within the system. So why are major astrophysicists just now raising concerns about a potential impact between Pluto and Neptune, despite all these complex forces trying to prevent such an event from occurring? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a significant figure in popularizing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially the intriguing case of Pluto. Tyson, 
known for his role in the renaming of Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's fascination with the unexplored realms of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's renaming is based on the ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system. He views the renaming not as a downgrade, but as a necessary adjustment to our growing understanding of the many bodies orbiting our sun Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and adaptation. He sees the complexities of orbits, such as Pluto's, as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The intrigue of these unknown s is what keeps the exploration of space so exciting. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune paint a different picture. His concerns about the distant future and how gravitational shifts could eventually cause Pluto and Neptune to come closer have led to a reconsideration of the potential hazards posed by Pluto's erratic orbit. But this remains speculative, requiring further observations and computational models. It's a thrilling yet humbling reminder of the unpredictable nature of space and the limits of our current scientific knowledge. Michio Kaku, another influential astrophysicist, also weighs in on the potential risk of a Pluto-Neptune collision, albeit from a different angle. Kaku is renowned for his work in theoretical physics and his ability to communicate complex scientific ideas to the public. He acknowledges the chaotic dynamics of planetary orbits, emphasizing how small changes over long periods can have massive consequences. However, he also stresses that, while the possibility of an eventual Pluto-Neptune collision is scientifically intriguing, it remains a distant concern, one that may not materialize for billions of years. Kaku often highlights the importance of continued research and observation, advocating for more advanced simulations and technological improvements to track the movement of distant celestial bodies like Pluto. According to Kaku, the idea of such a collision is not as much a present danger as it is a fascinating point of study for future generations of astronomers and physicists. For now, the focus remains on understanding the gravitational interactions that could potentially lead to such an event, as well as the methods we might employ to predict the future behavior of celestial bodies. Kaku's point is that while space is inherently unpredictable and chaotic, the more we study these forces, the better we can understand how and why such a collision might happen, or why it might be avoided. So, what would happen if Pluto and Neptune were to collide? While this remains speculative, the impact would be nothing short of catastrophic. Both Pluto and Neptune are composed primarily of ice and rock, but Neptune is much larger, with a mass about 17 times that of Pluto. If such a collision were to occur, it could trigger a series of events that would drastically alter the orbits and stability of nearby bodies in the outer solar system. Depending on the nature of the collision, one or both of the planets could be severely impacted, with debris sent flying into space, possibly altering the trajectories of other objects in the Kuiper belt and even affecting the inner solar system. However, it's important to note that the likelihood of this collision happening in the foreseeable future is extremely low. The current gravitational mechanisms that stabilize Pluto's orbit continue to hold it in check, ensuring that the probability of a direct collision with Neptune is incredibly remote. In the meantime, the study of Pluto and its interactions with Neptune offers an invaluable window into the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. By understanding the complex gravitational dance of these distant bodies, scientists gain insight into the broader forces at work in the universe. It also reminds us of the delicate balance that exists in our solar system, how even the smallest changes can have profound effects on the paths of celestial bodies. The possibility of a future collision between Pluto and Neptune, while remote, serves as a fascinating example of the unpredictability of the cosmos and the ongoing mystery that fuels scientific inquiry. The search for answers also reminds us of how much we still have to learn about the universe. With each new discovery, we unlock more about the nature of space, the origins of our solar system, and the potential futures that lie ahead. The work of astrophysicists like Tyson and Kaku is crucial in pushing the boundaries of what we know, as they continue to shed light on the mysteries of our cosmos.